Hi guys, Scott from Hey You Guys, lovely to meet you. How are you doing this evening? Lovely to meet you. Um, congratulations on the film. Uh, I can imagine it's great to be in the London Film Festival, let alone a gala. Uh, you must be feeling delighted tonight. What do you think it is? Absolutely. I used to work at the London Film Festival, so I'm very, very proud to be here and it's really great to be part of the American Express gala event here at Leicester Square. Uh, we, uh, our film at Seesaw, the King's Speech played here in 2010 as the American Express Gala, so um, we're hoping that uh, the audience fall in love with uh, Lion in the way that they fell in love with that film that night. Yeah. You're doing something right, anyway. Uh, let me ask you about the, the, st the script and the project, because it was a long time kind of coming. Were you guys there from, from the very beginning when it was sort of 2012, 2013? In film terms, it was very short. It was, absolutely. It was very short. We was sort of went after the rights in 2013, and then we made it. So it, it really wasn't that long a process, thank God, because I think there's a contemporaneous to the film. When you see the title cards come up of 2010, you're like, oh my God, this didn't, you know, and then later, this didn't happen that long ago. Let me ask you about the, the, the book itself. Were you guys, I presume you're familiar with the story, but what was it about the book that you thought would make a, a fantastic film? Um, well, it's, it's such an incredible true story and it's sort of epic in scope. It's kind of got mythological proportions, I suppose. This small child lost in this big, scary world who gets sort of um, adopted by an Australian family and then using amazing contemporary technology manages to find the roof of his house on Google Earth and, and is ultimately reunited with his family. Let me ask you about uh, Dev Patel. He seemed to have thrown himself into this one quite quite a lot and I just heard you saying that he went to the producer's house or something or whatever. That was, that's, a bit, that's a bit mad. Uh, what was it about him that made him perfect for, for this role? I think that there was a, um, a sort of look of I don't know, sort of a spirit to him where I just felt that he could play and he does crack the Australian accent, which is one of the hardest things I think an actor can possibly do. Um, but he had just a spirit, I think, that was right for it. And it was about him playing an Australian and, and then finding out about his roots and then going back there. And I, I think he just had a very special quality. I was you about uh, Nicole Kidman as well, obviously a very big, big actress. Um, was she into the process quite early or did she come a little bit later than Dev? Or how did that, that kind of work? She came on board a little bit later than Dev, but not too much later. Um, she had heard about the story. Everybody in Australia had heard about the story. Um, and so she contacted us and said that she'd like to talk. So we arranged a meeting with the director and when Garth Davis, the director, met her, he spoke to us afterwards and just said she understands Sue Briley. She just is Sue Briley. She has to play the role and she did, does an amazing job. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.